Hey, this is Sarah Hildebrandt with Brutus Plus, and today we're gonna to be going over a leg lace. In 2018, I started working with the leg lace in competition, and it was one of the reasons I made it to the world finals. Um, from there on, I knew it had to be an essential part of my game, and it ended up being the biggest move that I hit, and uh, the reason I won my bronze medal, hit it in every single match at the Olympics. And you know, I just think parterre is an absolute essential part of your game if you really want to separate yourself from the competition. It provides a lot of room for creativity and grittiness, which is exactly what I love about wrestling. All right, so this is leg lace just from parterre. Say you missed the transition. Don't be afraid to still set your leg lace up from here. Definitely still attainable. What I'm focusing on is keeping her pinned down to the mat. I like to attack this far leg uh, with my shoulder pinning just below her butt cheek. Um, some people like to come just to this one leg, but I like to control both sides of her if possible. So I'm gonna put my shoulder just below her butt cheek and my main objective is to kind of bring these knees together. So I'll be here and my hands are slipping right above both her kneecaps and I'm driving in, trying to pin her hips to the mat and put a lot of pressure through her back up here. From here, I'm getting off of my knee. If my knee is down on the mat, that is where all my weight is going and I want all that weight to be going directly into her. So I'm getting off my knee, continuing to drive forward. This foot is elevated. I'm using my armpit kind of like a hand, right? This is a hole. Since both my hands are busy, this needs to play the role of a hand. So I'll be here driving in. I want to use this and walk it to this leg. It's important when you walk it over that you keep your pressure in and my chest is staying parallel with the mat. Otherwise, this opens up. She can move this here. I'm losing it that way. She could use my momentum against me, expose me here. So it's really important to stay parallel with the mat keeping that chest down, that keeps this tight. So I'm here, walking her knees together, and that's when I can just find this. I can use this back knee to push this forward. Now once again, the armpit is a hand, the elbow is a hand, and now this hands can keep these knees together, and we can roll through. So also keep in mind, this hand is doing something, which is why we're using all these other armpits and elbows as hand. I want this one to, we're isolating this leg, right? If she's trying to keep her knees apart and we're trying to get them together, I need to isolate this leg so I can bring her other one to it. So this one is also mirroring this. At first, we're above this knee. And since I'm driving into this butt cheek, it kind of keeps this whole leg isolated and I'm essentially just squeezing them together. This is the motion I'm looking for. So keeping our chest parallel, hands are above the knee, shoulders below butt cheek, driving in, and I'm walking here. Now we can take our right knee, use that to sweep this up into our elbow. And this hand is now wrapping around these knees. The closer I can get these knees together, the more I can go. We'll come here. Don't worry too though. If you can't necessarily get the knees together, you have your lace right here. As she maybe crawls forward, we can still come in through here and just drop down to the ankles. But the main objective we're shooting for, and it'll put you in good position if you're, if you're going for that, bringing those knees together. And that's what this right hand is doing. 